hello. So, in this video, I'm going to be telling you how I may be updating my old school orc sculpture. Hmm. Hello there. So, um, you may be aware that I have recently been, well, recently, it was, uh, shut up. I'm already going off on a tangent already. Anyway, so I had done previously a war track conversion uh, where what I did was I updated the orc boy uh, that was riding on both the back and the front to bring it up so it looks a bit more closer to, you know, the everyday orc. So they kind of look quite cool. Uh, so I've got this scorcher now. Nothing wrong with the model. Nothing wrong, well, apart from the fact that this does need editing. This guy here, um, nothing wrong with the rules wise, um, although I'm not overly keen on it at the minute. Uh, so what I was thinking I would do is I have been looking around the internet, which is a dangerous thing, so be careful. Um, I did see some uh, some conversions, which I kind of like the look of. Now, uh, Forge World have um, some rules uh, for grot tanks, which are kind of cool. And I did see this one conversion where somebody used the war track. Um, which was pretty cool, in my humble opinion. Um, so this guy is actually not glued, so I'll just... So this is the guy, which if I chose to, I could update, but I chuck him to one side. This bit pops straight off. Now, I have seen one conversion where they basically did this, and they opened up this lid, which is also conveniently not glued. Um, and they stuck a Gretchen in there, which I'm more than capable of doing. Now, I could do that. I might do. We'll see how it goes. See if I can grow rigger, which is actually on the back of the war track anyway. So I'll, I'll figure it out. So I'll get him in. I'll just have like a hand and a face sticking out or something like that. Um, so it looks like a little grot tank. Now, honestly, these guys, the war track itself is a little bit, a little bit on the small side. It's, it's not far off um, in some measurements, but it is definitely smaller. Um, but I think it looks cool, and I think it's a great way to reuse the parts. Now, there's another option, so I could use this, which in itself looks pretty cool, although I would like to change the gun, which is pretty much stuck in its in its current position, so I may have to uh, change it out. So I have got some other, like, some turrets, so if I took, for instance, this off, I'd obviously be left with the, the chassis. Um, as some people, it's called the chassis, which annoys me, to no end. It's like saying... Chimera, chimera, or chimera, or sort of chimera, it's chimera, um, anyway, so, stop, stop the little rants, uh, obviously, I have got all the bits which I can pop on here, again, so this is from Ramshackle, which is pretty cool, got the right size for a little grot tank, um, height wise it will be, when I put something similar to this, and obviously it'll be sprayed black, it's just like, a, like an engine block thing which you can put on, um, and I have got some weapon options, so there's one that's a bit like, Auto cannon style, put that on a bit long, but it makes it look bigger, which is kind of cool. Um, I've also got uh, like a little machine gun thing, Tommy gun style. Pop that on the front, Bob your uncle. Um, there's another scorcher style, but I could always stick with the other scorcher if I was going to go scorcher. Yeah. Um, some exhaust, some other bits and bobs, which I've got those put on. And I probably would put a shooter on there somehow, whether it'd be just like sticking off the side or something like that. So, um, you know, so at the minute I'm kind of just at the, the ideas stage, so hopefully I'll have made uh, some more progress, whether I'll stick to the very, very simple and easy, um, like Scorcher conversion. Again, I'll probably still put a, a shooter on it. Sorry, I'm just fiddling with the, the turret, uh, the hatch on the turret, um, which could be quite cool. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I'd like to be able to scratch build stuff, but I don't think I'm at that level. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it'd be a cool little way, and hopefully paint it up to relatively, relatively, compared to my standards, decent standard, so it looks like a little, a little tank, even if I don't ever use it in an army, I'd probably just use it, so it looks kind of cool, probably beef on the back end if I can somehow, um, not sure how I'd get that done, um, I mean, this bit kind of fits on there, but probably put some fuel tanks or some other Beefy bits. I mean, I'm kind of going on now, but this is just the idea stage, so it'd be nice to hear what you think, um, you know, what I could do, possibly, um, and then if and when I make any progress, I'll keep you up to date um, with another alt conversion, hopefully. 
So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, if you have got any ideas, pop them in the comments below. Uh, that would be <laughs> cool and groovy. Um, likes and dislikes as appropriate. Um, thank you very much.